When I was working at home as usual, my sister-in-law, who opened the door to my room vigorously, came in and said triumphantly. Don't rely on your father forever. Be self-reliant. I didn't understand what she meant, so I could only tilt my head. My sister-in-law looks down on me and doesn't believe anything I say. So even at this time. It's strange that a useless person like you is in this high-rise apartment. This apartment is suitable for elite people like me and Axel. She said that and didn't seem to listen to me. I didn't bother to explain that it was natural for me to live in this high-rise apartment. I'll leave then. That's okay, right? You and your brother will take care of my father and mother, right? My words were met with a nod from my sister-in-law. Of course. Your father and mother will be happy because the unemployed is gone. From now on, the elite couple of your brother and I will take care of them. If that's the case, I'll leave. Don't come crying to me. My sister-in-law laughed out loud at my words. What are you talking about? Why should we rely on my unemployed sister-in-law? You're the one who doesn't even work and comes crying to us. I thought it was useless to say anything more, so I went back to work. My sister-in-law told me to hurry up and prepare to move out, but I don't intend to stay here for long either. Well, if I leave this apartment, it will be my parents and my brother's family who will be in trouble. My name is Natalia. I am currently 29 years old and work mainly from home. I have always had a troublesome presence. That is my real brother, Axel. My brother is two years older than me, and he has a personality that can't be satisfied unless he is the best at everything, so he always tries to outdo me. I was two years younger than my brother, so he was always ahead of me in things like studying, but he would come to me and show me his homework. Can you solve this? You can't solve it, because you're stupid. And he would make fun of me. Even if I was asked to solve something I hadn't learned, I couldn't solve it. What was more troublesome was that my mother and father loved my brother, who made fun of me. Seeing my brother make fun of me for not being able to solve a problem, my parents didn't scold him, but instead said. Wow. Axel is amazing after all. Yeah, he's called a prodigy. When he was little, my brother spoke earlier than any other child around him and understood addition and subtraction, so he was praised as a prodigy by his relatives. My father and mother were very happy that their child was being praised, thinking that being praised was the same as being praised themselves. Unlike my brother, who was called a prodigy, I was an ordinary person, so my father and mother were not very interested in me. It was lonely to not be expected, but I was happy that there was no unnecessary pressure. I saw my friends worrying about the high school entrance exam. My parents tell me to work hard to go to this high school. I have to go to a good high school and a good university. But I wasn't told anything about where to go to school. Unlike me, my brother was told a lot by our parents about where he should go to college, and he took out his stress on me by lashing out. I'm smart and expected to do well. You're a failure, unlike me. You're lucky you're not expected to do anything. If he didn't make such sarcastic remarks, he probably wouldn't have been able to keep his cool. When my brother went to a prestigious university that our parents wanted him to attend and then got a job at a major corporation, our parents were thrilled and acted like they had accomplished it themselves. However, things started to look suspicious when my brother got a job. He stopped contacting our parents as soon as he joined the major corporation. He must have been under as much pressure from our parents as he had been spoiled by them until now, and he couldn't stand it anymore. I didn't say anything because I thought this would happen someday, but our parents were very surprised. I haven't heard from Axel. I wonder what happened. Even when I contact him to say I'm worried, he doesn't respond properly. It was a hassle for me to be consulted every time, but even when I said, my brother will be fine, she couldn't calm down. Even after I entered college and graduated, my father and mother were still worried about my brother, who they couldn't contact very often, and they didn't seem to be interested in what I was doing at all. However, around two years after I started working, my father finally talked to me instead of my brother, who couldn't be contacted. When my father, who usually just talked about trivial things at the dinner table, spoke to me formally, I felt a little uncomfortable. Maybe I was happy that my father relied on me instead of my brother. I don't usually take my father's talk, 
but I did this time. Then my mother, father, and I forgot about my brother and decided to live in a high-rise apartment with three people. I was working in my room as usual when my mother came in. My mother had never been very concerned about me, so I was surprised when she suddenly came into my room. What's wrong, mom? When I asked her, my mother looked troubled and lowered her eyebrows. Axel called a little while ago and said he's coming here. So I want you to pick him up at the station. Huh? My brother? It had been a year since we started living in the high-rise apartment, and my brother hadn't contacted us during that time. And yet, he suddenly said he was coming to this apartment. My mother said to me to pick up my brother. It was unbelievable. Uh, Mom. I'm working right now. Even when I said that, my mother seemed to think that my brother was more important than me, who had lived with her all along. What are you doing? Even if you say you're working, you're just playing on your computer all the time. If you're going to do that, go pick up your brother. That's all you can do to help me. I frowned involuntarily. I thought my mother knew that I was working at home for the past year that we had been living together. And yet, she thought I was playing on my computer all the time. And I'm only useful for picking up my brother. I regret that my father isn't here. I realized that my mother had no interest in me from the bottom of her heart, and I felt lonely. Even though I was living in this apartment and contributing to the household more than my brother, who couldn't be contacted, my mother still liked my brother, who was a child prodigy, more than me. Okay, I got it. I'll go pick him up. When I nodded, my mother sighed. Axel is an elite, but why are you such a failure, Natalia? Saying that, my mother went to the kitchen. She's going to make a delicious meal to welcome my brother. If she thinks I'm a failure, she shouldn't ask me for anything. I went to the station to pick up my brother while thinking that. Then, while getting into the car, my brother who was waiting at the station said sarcastically. You're late. You're still slow like you used to be. However, I was surprised when a woman behind my brother got into the car with a nonchalant expression. Wait. Who is that person? When I asked, my brother and the woman looked surprised and exchanged glances. Axel, didn't you tell her that you got married? Oh, I didn't want to deal with it, so I didn't tell her that I got married. I was stunned. My brother not only didn't contact our parents because they were too intrusive, but he also kept his marriage a secret. I can't believe he didn't report something as important as marriage, no matter how troublesome our parents were. Well, I also have a boyfriend who I'm currently dating with the intention of getting married, but I haven't told my father or mother yet. I thought my mother would be surprised, and when I returned home, she was indeed about to faint, and it was difficult to support her. I'm Axel's wife, Alice. Axel and I met at work, so we're both workaholics. Looking at Axel's wife, Alice, I couldn't help but wonder if these two were really working for a major company. Alice entered the high-rise apartment and looked around the room while saying. Oh, your father-in-law makes a lot of money. It's amazing that you're living in such a splendid high-rise apartment. I thought it was rude to not report the marriage, and it was even more rude to look around the house without proper greetings. I can't like my brother, so I can't like Alice, his wife either. Well, it seemed that they hated me more than I hated them. Alice, who was watching the situation in the high-rise apartment, whispered to me while my mother was going to the kitchen to prepare sweets. Since you were able to be unemployed so comfortably in this house, you should suffer from now on, shouldn't you? Huh? Unemployed? I don't know what she's talking about. My mother said I was playing on my computer without working, but Alice, who didn't know anything about my life in this house, why would she call me unemployed? When I glanced at my brother, he was looking at me with a grin. Apparently, Alice was mistaken because of my brother. He must have told her that I was always a failure who couldn't study better than him. It's very comical to think that he thinks my current position is the same as my past position. I'm not unemployed. I'm working at home properly. Do you know what telework is? I said that to correct the dishonorable misunderstanding for the time being, but Alice didn't intend to believe me. Okay, you're using words that have been in the news lately, but that doesn't mean you can work. She said, making fun of me.
It's bad. I can't get my brother, this person, or my mother to believe me. Well, my mother is one thing, but I'm not living with my brother and this person. However, just as I thought so, my brother and Alice began to say something outrageous. Alice and I are thinking of going home soon. I've been avoiding it until now, but I'm still the eldest son. I think I have to take care of mom from now on. I was amazed at my brother's words. He hadn't responded to any of the contacts until now. However, my mother, who loves my brother very much, heard my brother's words and was moved to tears. That's right. Axel is the most reliable, after all. You're completely different from Natalia, who doesn't do anything even when she's at home. It's disappointing that she would praise my brother and belittle me. I thought it was a strange thing to say that I wasn't doing anything. Then, my brother, who was getting carried away, looked at me with a smile and said. Since mom said that, you really have been relying on dad to live until now. We don't need someone like that in this house. I sighed at my brother, who was still misunderstanding. If dad comes home and explains it, my brother, his wife, and my mother can only apologize to me. Yes, yes, say whatever you want. I have work to do. Saying that, I thought I couldn't listen anymore and returned to my room. However, Alice, who had nothing to do with it, opened the door to my room vigorously and chased after me. She said. Don't rely on your father forever. Be self-reliant. I didn't understand what she meant, so I could only tilt my head. Alice looked down on me and didn't believe anything I said, so she said. Useless people like you have no place in this high-rise apartment. This apartment is suitable for elite people like Axel and me. She said, and there was no sign that she would listen to me. As expected of me, I didn't bother to explain that it was natural for me to live in this high-rise apartment. Then I'll leave. Is that okay? You and my brother will take care of my father and mother, right? Alice nodded nonchalantly at my words. Of course. Since the unemployed is gone, your father and mother will be happy. From now on, the elite couple of your brother and I will take care of them in this high-rise apartment. If that's the case, I'll leave. Don't come crying to me. Alice laughed out loud when she heard my words. What are you talking about? Why should we rely on an unemployed sister-in-law like you? You're the one who comes crying to us, who doesn't even work. I thought it was useless to say anything more, so I went back to work. Alice told me to hurry up and prepare to move out, but I don't intend to stay here for long either. Well, if I leave this apartment, it will be a problem for my parents and my brother's family. I immediately contacted a moving company. Fortunately, it wasn't the moving season now, so they responded immediately. I also signed a contract for a short-term rental property that was available for immediate occupancy, and proceeded with the preparations for the move. I tried to finish everything before my father came home, and I was able to leave the house as soon as he came home. When my father saw me with a lot of luggage. Natalia, are you going somewhere? He asked, but before I could answer, my brother said. Father, you don't have to support Natalia anymore. My wife and I will take care of you and mom. In this apartment. He said triumphantly. My father was surprised that my brother was in the high-rise apartment, but he turned pale at my brother's words. Support. To my father, who looked so bad, I said. That's what it is. Mom, my brother, and his wife are saying that I'm unemployed and that I should leave. My father and mother will be taken care of by my brother from now on, so I'm no longer needed. Please leave this high-rise apartment by the end of this month. Wait, Natalia. My father tried to stop me, but I shook off his hand and left the high-rise apartment. My brother's family and mother were mistaken, but the room in this high-rise apartment is not under my father's name. Then whose name is it? Of course, it's mine. Although my brother's family and mother called me unemployed, I had enough income to pay the monthly rent for this high-rise apartment. That's why when my father was nagged by my mother to live in this high-rise apartment, he reluctantly relied on me. I met my father through a business transaction, and he found out that I was the president of a certain company. Since then, he has been asking me for money. 
so I was happy to be asked by my father and contracted the high-rise apartment to let my father and mother live there. However, due to my brother's family suddenly returning, I was forced to leave the high-rise apartment. If they intend to do that, I won't show any mercy either. Can I let my parents and my brother's family live in this high-rise apartment that I have contracted from now on? I'm not that kind of person. I immediately gave up the high-rise apartment and moved to a place where my parents and my brother's family don't know. I didn't hear that, Dad. You were demoted because of a subordinate's mistake at work. My father doesn't have enough money to rent the high-rise apartment. Although my father used to earn money, he hasn't earned much since he was demoted. I didn't hear from you either. I heard that you got a job at a major company, but you got fired and came back? Actually, my brother's family, who said they would support my father and mother, seem to be unemployed now. It was impossible for two people who got a job at a major company in the city to live in this hometown with their parents. Alice also had an unconventional personality and used her face and beauty to push work onto others, despite her sloppy work, which was revealed to her superiors, and she was scolded, so she quit her job herself. As for my brother, he was called a genius since he was young and was pampered, but as soon as he entered society, he was treated the same as others and was even surpassed by other peers. This company doesn't have the capacity to recognize me. I only want to work where someone recognizes me. He talked in front of his boss, and even injured his boss, so he was fired. Even though they became unemployed, they remembered that my parents and I were living in the high-rise apartment through regular contacts from my mother, and they came. My brother's family seemed to think that the high-rise apartment was my father's, but it was actually in my name, so they were kicked out of the high-rise apartment along with the family. After a while, my brother called me. Were you working? Were you lying to us by saying you were unemployed? What? What are you talking about? I said I was working. It's telework. Even so, who misunderstood me as unemployed and made fun of me and kicked me out? Don't blame me for your mistakes. My brother on the other end of the phone groaned. Then Alice, who seemed to have taken the smartphone from my brother, said hysterically. You're my sister-in-law, right? Help us because we're in trouble. I don't think I can believe what you say. You called me unemployed and made fun of me and kicked me out of the high-rise apartment that I own. I don't intend to help someone who is going to be a stranger from now on. What? Goodbye, then. I immediately blocked my brother's contact information. I will also block my father and mother and change my phone number this weekend. My father, mother, and brother's family, who have been abandoned by me, seem to have moved to an apartment with four people because my brother's family is unemployed and my mother is a housewife, and my father has to support three people with little income. Who would want to support three people who don't work? My mother also mistakenly thought that I was unemployed, and she taught my brother that. She is hysterically shouting every day, saying that my brother's family should take responsibility for kicking out because they said they would support. Alice and my brother are fighting back, saying that my mother should work too. Apparently, all three of them will start working soon. As for me, I was finally freed from my family, so I started living together with my boyfriend, whom I had been dating with the intention of getting married. If we get married and have children, I promise myself in my heart that I would never treat my children differently.